Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I came to a bookstore to buy some autographed comics. Usually, it's very difficult to buy an autographed comics because only limited numbers are sold, and since it's first come, first buy, people make a long line from early morning. But this store, called the Vinci Store, has different style for sale, and I like that way. They distribute raffle tickets and decide the order to buy the books. The person who got first place will start buying books and the next person will follow. One person can choose and buy whatever they want up to two books unless it's already sold out. On this day, there are 17 titles and each title has 10 books available for sale. This means if I can be within 10, I can buy what I want, but if not, it really depends what other people buy before me. What I'm aiming to get today are those two titles. Hope I can win a good order. Okay, I got number 10, so I will write down my name and put it on the raffle box. Okay, now just wait for the result. Fingers crossed! The raffle result will be announced in 2 hours, so I decided to walk around. The bookstore is actually located in a shopping complex called Tokorozawa Town, which is managed by Kadokawa. You guys probably know Kadokawa as a very famous Japanese publishing company. In this complex, Kadokawa Museum is the most famous spot and it's very unique. They exhibit not only anime things, but some other things like histories, arts, foods, nature, and sciences. I think I need to shoot another video for it. Now I'm walking the Japanese garden leads to the shrine. It's a nice view going through these flags and the tree gates. These flags have some anime titles. There must be some campaign going on. Um. And I found my favorite one, a certain scientific railgun. I really like Toaru series and Accelerator is so cool. I really like him and did cosplay him several times at the anime convention before. Ooh. Hope this COVID situation ends soon, and we can do more gathering again. Alright, this is the campaign we saw on the flags. This is to decide where the most popular real-life location of some animes. And this map shows all the anime locations in each prefecture. It introduces nominated anime titles by areas. These are the titles in Chubu area. Maybe I will visit some places and introduce in my future videos. There is a food fair next to the museum. They sell some products which are based on the real-life location of animes in Saitama Prefecture. There are several legendary animes based in Saitama, like Anohana, Saikano, and Lakista. The shops sell the product related to those anime or some product made in those locations. Kagami's shrine in Rakista is super popular and people from all over Japan visit the shrine. Those attack people are also very good at drawing and they write down their wishes together with some drawing on Emma plate like this. And this place is not a food store, but I found a ring toss game. It seems we can get some prizes, so I will try. The first line is for kids who is at elementary schools or younger than that. And the second line is for adults. So I have to throw a ring from the second line. I can throw 5 rings and if more than 2 rings run over the sticks, I can get the prize. So let's do it. 
Yeah, he's kindly teaching me how to do it. Oh no, it's much lighter than I thought. Mia, it's very difficult. Okay, let me try one more time. Yeah, he advised me to aim the closest one. Seriously, I'm aiming here. You guys think there is no hope, right? Let me try a few more times. Yes, I think it's getting closer, and next will be 9th try. And finally, he offered me to throw one step ahead from the line. Yes, this is my first success, and I need one more success to get the prize. Cross. Anyway, I got first success, and next will be my tenth try. Yes, one more. Ah, cross. Yes, now I get the prize. So more success and better prize. Ah, uh, it's cross, but anyway, finally I got the prize. Since I got two success, I can pick a prize from this box. Let me see what they have. Oh, I found Megumin Explosion! Oh my goodness, they gave me Zanden prize, so I will have 9 snacks. By the way, this is a very common Japanese snack called Umaibo. We can buy it at 10 yen, and there are so many flavors. I like mentai and cheese, but there are some more like takoyaki. Since I have a little more time, I came for another omikuji. This will probably tell if I can get the books today. Explaining about omikuji again, there are mainly 6 results, and daikichi is the best, and the kyo is the worst. I will check how lucky I am today, so that I can expect my raffle result, and see if I can buy the books I want. Oh, I got Daikichi! I think it must be my first Daikichi in the past few years. Today must be really a good day. Raffle result gonna be announced soon, so let's go and see it. They separate the people into some group for each hour to buy the books. So the first group can buy from 1pm, and the second group can buy from 2pm. Also, there is specific order for each person to buy the books within the group. To buy the books I want, I need to be in the first group, and ideally, my order is within 10. Let's see where my number is. My number is 10, so... It's in the second group, and my order is... 26. Hmm, it's hard to say. Let's just hope it won't be sold out soon. Ta-da! Here are two books I was able to buy. So this is the one I really wanted, Hinamatsuri. 
Hinamatsuri was animated in 2018. It's basically comedy anime by Japanese Yakuza and the Mysterious Girl. I really enjoyed it, and this is still my favorite comedy anime. Let's open it! Wow, this is beautiful! There is an autograph by the author and the illustration of Hina. The other one, actually, I couldn't get what I wanted. The guy in front of me bought the last one. Where did my Daikichi go? But I got this Muteki no Mirai Daisakusen instead. I chose this because my friend told me its autograph and the illustration are really, really beautiful. Let's open it. Wow, it's so beautiful. Nice autograph and illustration in color. It looks like the author took more time on this than others. I do not really see this level of quality. This is also comedy manga. It's not a long story, and I think volume 3 is the last one. Please check it if you are interested. Okay, that's all for today's video. I got those two nice autograph comics and enjoyed working in Tokorozawa town. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye!